Hi, this is John Houlihan with EZG Manufacturing. Today we're looking at our new improved line of grip hog lifters. On my left, we have the new uh, beefed up grip hog battery model. I'm wearing our new electric backpack vacuum model. And to my right is the original, the air compressor versions. First, we'll look at the vacuum model. The backpack is comfortable. It's about 10 pounds on your back with a very comfortable strap. You can tie it in or you can have it loosely. With the vacuum unit, you do not want to use extension cords if you can help it. You do want to use a generator if you're in a remote site. It'll plug into any household circuit. We now have an adjustable shaft and include the wrench to change out the pads. We have our valve assembly, very simple thumb control, and our hoses will come with clamps, but also with the friction developed the way we developed it, it's just simple on and off. The electric vacuum is easy to clean out with a removable washable uh, filter. With the backpack vacuum, the on off switch is conveniently located on the left side. Again, the single man model is uh, rated at a capacity of 75 pounds. When you go to lift the pavers, you don't need to worry about natural cleft or excessive cleft on any of the man made pavers because the Grip Hog paver placer pads are designed to work with any of the cleft of the manufacturers. The other advantage with the Grip Hog electric vacuum is we can lift wet cast, dry cast, and natural stone. Travertine, ceramic tile, it's limitless. In a case like this, we would use a larger pad, but our capacity is still there. With the Grip Hog electric vacuum, some of the maintenance tips are as follows. You want to keep the filter clean. Check it every week. Clean it out as necessary. Your run times are very important. An electric vacuum generates heat. Under load, it generates more heat. So after running or moving a load, your product, as you go back to get more, keep it running. We need cool air flowing into that. Even on a hot day, it's going to keep the motor cooler. If you do have an overheat on any electric vacuum, always look on the bottom. There's a reset button after it's cooled down. Now let's take a look at the Grip Hog battery operated lifter. First, we're going to be looking at the one man unit. Again, it's rated for up to 75 pounds. It is not intended for dry cast pavers. It's for natural stone, tile, uh, ceramics, travertines, etc. Everything on the Grip Hog battery lifter is powered by an 18 volt battery. When you purchase a Grip Hog, you're going to get a battery and a charger, and we have extra batteries or chargers if you need them as well. We still got our new adjustable shaft for multi height people. We've got our pad selections, which run from 4x4 all the way up to our 1 foot by 2 foot pad. We have a new protective cover around our pump. And then up here, we have our easy change out from one man to two man to excavator. So this is a very versatile tool. In this case, we're going to look at some wet cast pavers and show you what it can do. <laughs> Typical run time is around six hours. If it's running more, you just want to make sure you don't run it too long and you switch to a fresh battery so you don't drop product in the middle of a project. The Grip Hog air compressor model is basically an improved version of the original PM1 air, which basically started this industry. So on the new improved air compressor model, we have our bolt-on heads. We have our wrench that's included to help with that. We have our adjustable shaft for different height operators, our Venturi, and our T-bar that you can change out for our H-handle. And that H-handle can also have a excavator hook on it. When hitching to a compressor, the single man version has a max capacity lifting of 75 pounds. That means you have to use a compressor of around six and a half CFM. PSI is not as important with our lifters as CFM. And our T-bar that you can change out for our H handle. These can break down for transport and storage. In this configuration like this, we've got four handles that break down into four separate pieces. When we get to the top, we've got a couple of new features here. The top bar can be put in either direction, depending on the weight, shape, objects you need to walk through. As with the other EZG battery operated lifters, they're designed for natural stone. They will do well with wet cast and face, face mic product especially, 
but with the capacity of this, it was designed with natural stone slabs in mind. As with all our lifter pads, be sure to lift them straight up and put them straight down so as not to damage the pad. So this is the new Grip Hog line from EZG. If you have any further questions or if you're ready to make your purchase, please give us a call or check us out at EZGMFG.com.